Yeah, it's, it's incredible. I'd been lucky enough to referee the teams before. So I'd refereed Atletico Madrid twice in that competition during that season and refereed them times before, Real Madrid many times. So, you know, both clubs knew my style of referee and that, my style of refereeing probably worked for that game um, because it needed a lot of, you know, strength early in the match because, you know, both players were, both sets of teams were trying to get players cautioned and sent off. And, you know, I didn't want to spoil such a great spectacle. And I tried to help it by using different techniques, my man management. Then I had to go to the yellow cards. And, you know, there was times in the game where the game became very, very difficult. Um, you know, the, the rivalry, you know, being in such an iconic stadium like the San Siro, billions of people watching, you know, and I can't remember late in the match. I can't remember much what happened in the extra times because mentally I was so fatigued. Um, but we get, I got through it. And, I didn't want any controversies and in the end the game was so balanced and um, you know I, I got a tattoo and people say why did you get a tattoo of the, if, if the Champions League final it's actually something when when you're feeling low in your life you can look down I can look down on my arm and think you know what I really did it and you know you, you have some roller coasters certainly as a referee in your life and I had some ups and I had some downs in my career so this was certainly one of the, the highs and 